All right, guys, so I am at Whole Foods in the main line, I'm going to try to film while I pick out some flowers from their floral department. And hopefully I won't get caught trying to be sneaky and film because I, I can't say I'm like super stealth with this camera. So that was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I took a little bit of film at the checkout, but the flower department, if you can call it that, was really disappointing. And uh, I just didn't really see anything that I felt like went together with. Hello, Muppet. How are you? Bless you. Actually can't make this arrangement today. I am losing the light and my errands just took way too long. I have some paperwork for some upcoming events that I have to work on. So I'm just going to put the flowers in some clean water and uh, I will get them designed tomorrow. So plain water in a bucket, I'm not gonna put them in my cooler or anything like that. And I'm also not using flower food because we'll use that for the arrangement tomorrow. I have returned from the dentist, but my mouth hurts, so I'm not going to talk, but I'm making up for it by wearing both giant earrings and lipstick. So we're in voiceover mode for arranging. I'm using green floral tape, waterproof floral tape to create a grid to support all the heavy produce elements. I pre-dissolved the powdered flour food in the water. This arrangement was extremely challenging for me and we're gonna watch it on super fast forward because it took me probably around an hour to design. I wish I could tell you guys I had a plan, but I didn't. I just kept adding stuff and turning the arrangement around.
In general, I found this arrangement extremely difficult to get through and wanted to stop many, many times. The solution turned out to be just using lots more of the stock and to just keep adding things until I ran out of stuff. You can tell by this face, I am not thrilled with what I am seeing. And it's probably a good thing I can't talk right now. I really thought that I could just, being a good designer, walk into the grocery store, pick up a few bunches, come back here and like whip up something that looked great. And it was a real struggle. I think what I don't see is the value. It's not that $20 for 11 stems of roses because one was broken. Um, or $9.99 or $14.99 for five hydrangeas and two trick carnations is expensive. It's just not a good value. Two of the hydrangeas died uh, before I even could arrange them. And the, like I had showed you earlier, the trick carnations were broken because they weren't packaged correctly. So it's not that I think grocery store flowers should be more or less of their prices what i think is if you're going to charge 19.99 for 12 11 roses that they should look better than this the roses don't look so hot they're all kind of crum crumply not great this solosha did not last uh i did not put this in a cooler i just left it here in my uh office film set and I just made sure it had water and it had some flower food in it. I would like the grocery stores to do better. The end of August, the end of summer in zone seven, zone six, I know how many local flower growers there are and I am super disappointed that the stores are not carrying more local bunches of flowers. But uh, I mean, on, on the plus side, I do like the tomatoes. Uh, yeah, the carrots, the carrots are scary. Yeah. I got this Celosia playing with the, um, or Coxcomb, playing with the carnation. I thought the tomato was cool. I really do like the color of the carrots. They just didn't function very well as an arrangement. The asparagus is actually kind of cool as a line or gestural flower. I think it's the worst arrangement I've ever made. Definitely not. Do I think that the value of the flowers is there? No. Do I think I'm going to keep trying to buy flowers at the grocery store and make arrangements? 100%. Am I ever going to use carrots in arrangements again? Definitely not. <laughs> So in conclusion, I actually don't know if there's a conclusion to this. The whole experience was meh. So the next couple of videos coming up are uh, how to revive wilted roses since a lot of times people buy roses at the grocery store and they don't look so hot. So that is a fun one. If you love all things floral like I do, please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell. Videos go up Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And let's see if the cats like this.